Big Hero 6 is out and it is adorable, but it could have been a little bit different. This is of course uh, the combination of Marvel and Disney making what used to be a comic book into an adorable movie. Uh, that still holds a, a lot of the tenets of the original, uh, but it could have been very different. Uh, Kevin Dart had some uh, concept art that was scrapped because it does look different than the final version, but let's take a glimpse into what could have been. Ooh, so it's so gorgeous. Yeah, it looks like it could almost be a different time. I it mean, is, yeah. From the plane, and I think that might be Baymax, and it's kind of far away. Maybe in another one we can see a better uh, view of him. I love seeing all of these early concepts. It's just really neat to see oh, there he is. that progression of character design, of world building. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Dart is such an amazing, amazing artist. So seeing his take on this world is really exciting. Uh, Baymax looks like an egg. <laughs> How the long ago were egg. these? Was this concept art released? Like, was was this long time ago when the when they well, had I first the talked about the comic? Sketches were from like 1998. So, this but was, I don't think these are that old. Yeah, all of these are related to the film. He was hired on as a I don't know if he was full time at Disney so much as a contractor kind oh, of. Oh, here's on an early version. So Kevin Dart said, I got to play around with a lot of different villain ideas when I was on the movie. At one point, we were envisioning a warrior-esque city filled with all these different, th these different gangs of these very specific thugs, like the Kamikaze Girls. <laughs> I also did some early exploration of this Kabuki mask guy who ended up becoming the main villain. I think I like the airplane guys the most, who we'll, <laughs> we'll look at quite soon, hopefully. Nope. That, nope, that's that not an airplane guy. That's, guy. that's the guy who hasn't gotten out of that chair. He <laughs> likes ramen. Yeah. Or don't worry, I don't know. Um, oh, is so that cute. Baymax? He looks so different. So. Yeah. So That's really cool. It Dar is really Dart beautiful. had noted they always wanted Baymax to be simple and round and cute, uh, which is a big departure from Baymax in the comic books, Absolutely, who looks just yeah. like a mecha. Mm -hmm. uh, are these the... Is this a team? Yeah, this is one of the gangs. Oh, they look oh. like a baseball team. I like these baseball gangs. Ninja. I like this gang idea. I like, yeah. like with the kamikaze girls. I thought that was really cool. So cool. I like the ninja baseball team. There are a bunch of other artists on Tumblr who have been posting their concept art for these uh, for these teams, like Ryan Lang and Shiyun Kim, and they're all just, oh, it's so exciting to see that full progress of Oh, here's the production. original version of uh, the villain. He looks a lot, it reminds me of Samurai Jack a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> when you I see the original the final film, yokai? actually. Yeah. When you say original version, what year are we talking about with that photo? I honestly with don't, that I don't know what period Kevin Dart was on the film. Yeah, I don't know how long this film has been in production, but it can be anywhere from like five, three to five years, that sort of thing. So um, different, like what a different angle they, they chose. I mean, being somebody that's in this world, I mm -hmm. mean, that must be such a, I mean, you scrap so much artwork that you've done, but yeah. maybe, maybe iterations like that happen often? Yeah, it's just kind of the nature of the game. You rarely want to go with your first idea right out of the gate. It's Do you rarely the best one, and so the more you can kind of throw ideas on the table, really test them, see how things animate, how they, how character designs work when they're put up against other character designs, how they fit into the world. And you know, the story itself changes, and so you have to adapt characters to fit those needs. But When you're first coming up with designs, like say in your own experience, mm -hmm. uh, and you put out that first draft, you know it's not going to be used in some way, right? Are you purposely throwing out something you don't like that much and saving your A-game for later? Every once in a while, when you have like a design that you know you want to get through, you kind of put those low-hanging fruit ah, in front yeah. of art directors put and be like, oh, what about like, these? Okay. Yeah, and you, you're, the, you just know they're going to shoot down and you'll be like, dang, well, I guess I'll try something else. <laughs> but there's also the danger of if you do that, sometimes art directors are like, that's amazing. We're going to go, use this no. design that you don't like. <laughs> but look at this one. <laughs> yeah. So it's always no, kind of a gamble. <laughs> Damn it, he's an egg. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. well, in the comics, Baymax was, he looked like a mecha. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's very angular and looks like armored. He does have armor in the movie, but it's, it's still more round and soft and kind of adorable. <laughs> he's not really adorable in the comics. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but he's maybe too adorable in these designs. I guess there's a middle ground. Yeah, absolutely. I think the final design is just so striking. And the way he's animated in the final film is ah, oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the San Francisco that could have been. Uh, do you like it? What do you think of the idea of having these different gangs? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and I'll see you around next time.